Hey guys, welcome to the awakening. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Isn't that cool? Something like five quid. But look at it. God. Anyway. Ah, guys, if you really want to get to know yourself, if you really want. Sorry, move the camera a bit. If you really want to get to know yourself, if you really want to understand more about yourself and about life, and you really, really, really want to dig deep, take three months off on your own to live on your own. At least three months, whatever, because you can't get away with anything anymore. This ascension, this awakening is mind blowing. It's the most painful thing you'll ever go through, believe me. Perfection, fringe, fringe, perfection. <laughs> I can't get over it. it. Just arrived today. Hang on, I'm going to show you three at the same time. Three for 10 pounds, guys. Look at this. That'll be the next one. I love this one because it's got purple in it. Anyway, this is how the awakening is going to be for the next few days. Very colorful. And as I said, if you really, really, really want to get well, if you want your life to start to work and you want to dig deep, deep, deep into the deepest, deepest crevices of, of your what's really going on with your mind, your body, your spirit, and you really want to ascend because isn't that the most important thing in the world? And the world is going through madness and chaos and I'm wearing colorful wigs. And you know what? I feel really good. I feel really good because I've had a massive, massive realization. And it's happening to me all the time now. Massive realizations, light bulbs going off. I used to call it when I was in the therapeutic community. So let me get down to the nitty gritty. I'm draining me, all right? I am my own vampire. I drain myself. Suddenly I feel full of energy. That's probably because I'm back on the water. Water, you've got to drink gallons of water. Now, today I've made a beautiful new friend. She knows who she is and she's watching this hopefully. Because I told her I'm getting up and doing an awakening because through the conversation we had, I, I realized I don't know how to be a friend. Lauren doesn't know how to be a friend. She hasn't got a clue. How can you know how to be a friend when your life has been a mess where you never had real friendships growing up? You never understood how to be social? You didn't know what healthy boundaries were. I don't know how to be in a marriage or a relationship. How could I know how to be in a marriage or a relationship? How could Lauren know anything when she grew up in, in a family and parents that were always fighting, never getting on? Um, and all she saw was fighting and rows. And so to relationships was all fighting and rows. So how can you be married? How can you have a friend? When you really, really think that you're this amazing friend and all you do is try to fix everybody. And I realized that today because I met my match. And she said to me, Lauren, Lauren, you're trying to fix me, you're trying to fix me. And, and, and she did what I do. The minute I tried, to, she tried, I tried to fix her, she went into something else. And I thought, hang on a second. She, I said, well, what do you want from me? What do you want from me? She said, I just want you to listen. That's it. Let me talk and don't say anything. Now, I didn't realize when people said to me, you never listen. It meant that I wouldn't let them talk and, and just listen. It's not that I didn't hear everything. I heard everything and I could tell them exactly what they said. But, but I started talking. So to them, it means that you're not listening. 
So I've been going on CODA again, you know, the 12 steps, doing codependency and, and understanding that you need healthy boundaries for friendships. And one of them is you need to know what that other person wants. And if they just want you to listen and not fix them, then that is a big issue for me because I didn't understand it. I didn't understand it. Um, I grew up with a father that if he couldn't fix you, then he'd abandon you. Yeah, it, well, abandon you. He would he just get upset with you and angry. I'm using that word abandon because it's a big word. And, but he would get very upset and he would get angry with me and that was it. You're not listening. But I was a child, that's different. And so how do you just listen? So she said to me, you know what? There are times when I can't talk to anyone and I will bring the Samaritans and I know all I want is an ear. That's it, the listening ear. And quite a lot of the time they try to fix you. Samaritans do try to fix you, quite a lot of them. So I say to them, I want the orange. Okay. <laughs> I want the orange, the orange, sacred chakra, creativity, and lots of other stuff. <laughs> yeah. um, and so I said to them, I don't want you to fix me. I want you to listen. Because every time I don't, you, you can't fix me, you get angry with me, and then you kick me out of your life. That happens a lot in the therapeutic community. I can't fix you, Lauren. I can't fix you, Lauren. And they tried to kick me out. I saw all my mirrors everywhere, everywhere. And then the inner peace happened. And guess what? It was, okay, then what am I doing wrong? Can you tell me what I'm doing wrong? I'm listening. I'm listening. And now I'm on my own. And I don't feel that lonely anymore. I don't. It's been three months and I quite like it in a lot of ways. And the only people I talk to now are people that know that that one is not president. That B I D D is not president because the media cannot declare a president. It's hilarious. President needs to be declared by the House and the Senate. And we all know who the real president is and will be once they count all the voter fraud. But I do not talk to anyone that can bring my vibration down now. I don't. Um, well, I do, but I, I, I very quickly, I know if I have to come off the phone or, you know. But today I realize I am my own emotional vampire. I drain me. Lauren. So I thought it kind of came up again with friends and I got the feeling like they wanted me to coach them and I was I'm giving and giving and giving and giving and, and this is what I think I need to do. I need to give, I need to fix, I need to be the one to give them all the answers and my life experience and so much and yeah I never get paid anything. Why? And suddenly I realized they didn't want that. They just wanted me to listen. Just, just listen. And the relief was, like, oh, my God. But then, oh, but then, ah, oh, but then, ah, oh, but I want this. And I, can you do that? Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and, and, and the mind and the body is trying to jump in. Ooh, you know, try that. Try, ooh, ah. No, just listen. I don't want you to fix me. I don't want to do a show moving on TV, <laughs> this person, which is fair enough. Uh, because if I was coaching, I wanted to change. But this person just wants to be a friend, which is incredible. Someone wants me. <laughs> this person said, I'm going, you will abandon me. Never. Never. I can't. I can't abandon anyone. It's not in me. If you think I've abandoned you, that's rubbish. Never. The minute you pick up a phone or text or it's like you just call out my name. You've got a friend. I'm not going to think too much. I exhausted myself yesterday. And, and then all these issues come up in your face. That's another thing I'll talk about. Everything is in my face and I'm so grateful. 
I don't feel lonely today. Everything got cancelled and I'm grateful because I'm too tired. Until this evening where I've got a laughter therapist coming on and I won't sing that much because I'm too tired and I'm draining this body. I'm draining this body. And I suddenly felt more energetic when I drank water, got out of bed, drank water and decided to come on here. And I saw this. You see, it can't be low in energy when you're excited. Look at it. Oh my God. One of the bonds between me and my sister, a real, you know, blood sister, is the wigs. I, I mean, look at it. 10 quid for three. We're so lucky. I hope you're learning from me. I'll keep it shorter because the last one went on for an hour. So it's all about friendships, okay? So you need to ask your friends, what do you want from me, okay? And if they keep coming clear through to you with the same message, Lauren, you're too loud, Lauren, you're too this, Lauren, then that part of the personality needs to be curtailed when you're around them. And if they say, I just want you to listen. God, I, no one listens. No one listens. Everyone... Everyone I've fallen out with, um, well, no, I haven't fallen out with very many people, not at all in the last three months. But yeah, one person after I split up from my husband tried to fix me. He kept saying, you're not listening, you're not listening. And I said, I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean. But now I do. You're not listening means you just don't say anything. That's what it means to people, to other people. You're not listening. You just sit there quietly. And some friends want that. And other friends, some friends just want to have fun and play. That's all I want. I want to have fun. I want to play. I want to dance. I want friends to come here so we can have fun and play and dance. And that's it. And laugh. <laughs> laugh. <laughs> Just laugh. Sit there and laugh and laugh. Do you, if you have a friend like that, that is invaluable. Find a friend like that. I have a friend like that. I wish that friend was still around. You just sit and you laugh and you play and you laugh and you laugh. But I have to respect healthy boundaries. And just like I have decided to take time out, that person has decided to take time out. People are doing their own recovery in their own time. They're doing their healing. But in me, there's this mother hen, this nurturing mother hen, which is a positive thing, this uh, mom figures, but guess who never got nurtured? Lauren. Yes, the little child that needs nurturing more than anything. Never got nurtured. Me. Nothing's ever good enough. The critic inside wants the wig, a wig that goes all the way down to my bum. It's not good enough. So I hope you're learning from this. So um, as I said, I want to come on here and explain to you. Also, I, I, I didn't want to get up. The exhaustion was unbelievable. I was lying in bed feeling more and more exhausted, more and more drained. As soon as I got that realization that I drained me, I was letting myself be drained. I was singing too much. Why was I singing all the time? Yeah, I love it. But it got to a point where I got a bit upset yesterday. It was in my face again. How everybody left when the singer I had on left because she was young and she was pretty. And that's a big issue. Age is a big issue for me. It's in my face a lot. It's hurt me a lot, this age thing. It hurts a lot of people. People get banned from things, they can't get work. People reject them in all sorts of ways. And that's, but guess what? That's because I'm rejecting my age. And yesterday it was as clear as anything. The singer left. 
and everybody left with. And it was like, well, what about me? I'm the one, I'm the one who's doing all the work. I, why won't you stay? And I, and I just, I was singing, but I wasn't singing from here. I was singing from somewhere else. And I knew the difference and I was very tired. Now there was some music that came from here, but it came from so, so much deep sorrow and unhappiness and ego. It didn't come from the soul, there's a difference. If you're singing from the soul, you know, because you feel different, you feel happy. You don't feel happy. So I'm starting to find, you need to do this as well, is when are you coming from the soul? And when are you coming from ego? Um, because I've been singing since I was 13, it's very hard for me. I always thought that when I sang, I came from the soul. But if it doesn't make you feel happy, then you're not coming from the soul. If it's draining you, you're not coming from the soul. You're coming from like a robotic thing that you all you need to do. You know, sometimes you have to start from that robotic space, from the ego, or from a space of let's just do it. Like you get out of bed and you think I've got to force myself to do something. And then, the, and then it kicks in. And why am I singing? I'm, I'm exhausted. My voice is going. I'm tired. I don't want to sing. No one's watching. I don't want to sing. Before I was singing just for me. Now I'm singing for others. I want people to come on and watch. It's coming from the ego. Why am I doing moving on TV? Because it's fun, because I love it. Because as I said to you, I will watch this tonight and I will see Lauren in all her glory and it will make me feel good. And some of you will as well. And it will encourage you to get out and get something and some colors maybe, or I don't have to go out there and get a coloring book. I am a coloring book. And that's not easy. And I'll put this on tonight, I'll watch it. And I will see, my God, you look stunning. I love you, Lauren. And I'll feel safe and I'll feel happy. If I go on singing all day today, I will see struggle. I will see suffering, I will see pain. I will see a body that's exhausted, that doesn't want to sing. So why am I singing? I can sing tomorrow, I can sing the day after the week. My voice will be better if I leave it. I sung too much. Last night I did something very simple. I put some classical music on, but some classical music is so relaxing. And I am a trained classical singer. And I thought, what do people need to calm them now? Beautiful, gentle sounds. Real instrument, like if it came from here. No pressure, there's not even any breath. Notice how I sing. There's no breath, okay? No breath. No breath. 
It's like when I sang Castiguva, when I did Maria, and I just stood there and there's no breath, there's no pressure. That's soul singing, okay? Not even that, that's not so. That's ego coming in saying, you're tired. But when you sing, you take a breath, you don't need a breath because your voice is just flowing. You don't even need to breathe, there's no effort. And, and that's what I did when I sang it. See if I can get it. <clears throat> One phrase, no breathing. Life should be like that. Okay. <laughs> Again, voice is tired, but. That's the difference. No effort. And if the body loves it, the soul rejoices. be the best singing in the world because I'm tired but it flows it just flows there's no breathing did you see it's all in one breath and breathe And that's why I got standing ovations and when I sang Casta Diva, because when you sing from here, there's a big difference to something like. You just call. Yes, you are belting. But you're trying to bring your aggression and your yeah, yeah. And it's tiring. If you did it like this more. You just call out my name. And you know. Wherever I am, I'll go running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just seeing you again. 
no breath. So why do you think I'm exhausted? And um, because I was doing, you just call, and I wasn't taking a massive breath to hold me because I'm tired. Singing is a really good way to understand when you are vampiring yourself, draining yourself. Someone I know said to me once, if you feel really tired um, after you sing, <clears throat> you're not doing it right. I agree. You're not drinking enough water, you're not sleeping, you're not eating. You cannot do a good concert until you've had a good meal. We have a good meal always before we went on in Edinburgh and we went on to do the show. We'd have a massive, a beautiful meal, a healthy meal. Then give it a couple of hours and then you go on and do your show. And then you come off and you have another meal because you've exhausted it. I think uh, um, without going against vegans, I think Pavarotti used to have a massive steak. You need the energy, the grounding, the earthing. So that's what today is about. And I'm going to cut it there because it's going on too long and people won't watch it if it goes on for too long. You need to be your own barometer. Am I vampiring myself? Yes. Protecting myself with violet flame and love, grounding myself, drinking water. That seems to be the most important thing in the world for earth angels and light workers at the moment. Gallons of water and humans, because <laughs> you won't get sick. Gallons of water. Healthy food that earths you. Yes, have a bit of meat. I'm not a vegan. You need a bit of meat. You need a bit of grounding. That's how I feel. And if vegans don't like it, then that's fine by me. I cannot become a pure vegan because it just doesn't agree with me. I have to have some meat or chicken or fish occasionally, or else I feel very, I, I'm just floating off. Today, the awakening is about, are you your own vampire? When you say people drain me, why do you let them? Don't let them. I'm not going to let people drain me anymore. If you're with someone and you start to feel, oh my God, my energy is going back. What are you doing? Now, what are they doing? Because they're just your mirrors. What am I doing? Oh, I'm trying to fix them. Uh, they're showing me something I don't want to look at. Why do I feel so drained around this person? I'm jealous of them. They're doing what I love and I'm not doing it. I don't know. Find your own way of figuring this stuff out. You know, this person is showing me something. I can't look at the, 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 the energy is, is, is very strong. It's, it's, and I'm not, and, and, and I feel like they're, they're encompassing me. I mean, I've had, as I say, there's a part of me that has said to Martin, please don't shout at me. Your voice is too loud, not shout, but your voice is too loud. It's bringing back memories, PTSD. And yeah, even me. And the more I'm on my own, the more I realize it's such a great to be able to see what really affects you. And you're with someone and your intuition is working all the time, all the time, all the time, because you're on your own. And as soon as another energy comes in, it's like, ooh, okay, I can have that one, or I can't have that one. Why? But it's interesting to look at. See, this is what the ascension is. You cannot ascend with issues. So if I have an issue with the age thing, then I can't ascend if I don't sort it out and start to love myself regardless of the age thing. And yeah, I'm putting on wigs here because it makes me look so stunning and young as well. <laughs> and you're all looking at the colors. But I also have been on here and I've told you I'm losing my teeth. And what um, to me, the age thing is something, well, we're going to have the med beds and you'll be able to go back 30 years. So why did, but if it comes between you and happiness, like it does with me, 
like it affected me, boom, because this singer was young and pretty and then everyone left and it was like whoosh in my heart. And that's when I went up there and I worked harder and harder and harder and harder because I couldn't cope with it. I couldn't cope with these feelings that you only want to look at young people that are beautiful on the physical. You don't want to be around people unless they're young and, and beautiful on the outside because that's all you see. You see their outside. You don't see their inside. And you're not going to function or ascend when the children come out. You won't because they're not going to be pretty. And this world is shit. And if you can't love yourself with all your flaws, with your broken bits and your ugliness, and we never see that in you, but you see it in yourself and you project it onto others. And I see it in myself, but I don't see it in you guys anymore. I don't see ugliness anymore. I don't see ugliness in you. I can't because all I have to see is beyond it. And, and we cannot see that in the children. You cannot be a physical um, only person anymore. You will not ascend. So if you're stuck in the physical and all you notice is this, there, okay? That I have lost teeth through this lockdown. I have lost teeth. I show you. And I did this thing about imperfections. I have imperfections like everybody else. Look. And I'm older than a lot of you. And it's lost me work and it's lost me friends and it's lost me relationships. And it's even lost me my own sister because I, the minute I put these on, I look like mom. So you know what? I'm me and I love me. I love Lauren. I don't need your issues anymore. Either you see me, the real me and the love that I am. And you wake up and you do your own work. So you can see beyond and you can say, I'm really sorry. I never saw you. All I saw was my issues. Mm. I have this new friend I took on. She's amazing. She'll hopefully watch this. Totally awake, very wise, probably a higher angel than me. <laughs> Just hasn't realized it yet. Humble, been through so much hell and yet so humble. Everyone abandons her. You don't listen. And yet I found it to be, she listened all the time. And those who have abandoned, you can't abandon an adult. Those who have told me they don't want to be in my company, my work is to try and understand what is it I project, because we're all mirrors and that person, these people are my mirrors. So why would you come and see me when I'm in a wheelchair? Because I didn't want to see me in the wheelchair. Why couldn't dad talk to me if I was vulnerable and I didn't do what he told me to do? Because then he became the child. Why didn't my sister cut me off when I shouted at an innocent child? Because I was all over the place when dad died and confused and didn't know what I was doing. And no one had any mercy for me. I was in shock situation arose and a child was present why did I shout and why did that person abandon me or kick me out of their life because of their inner child because their inner child was unhappy and scared and I was big bad mum if any of you are scared of my temper or then I'm big bad mum because I'm not scared of you anymore. I'm happy with me. I'm happy being here on my own. On my own. <laughs> Nothing else to guide me. To my higher power. 
all alone. I walk with you till morning, my higher power. Without you, the world is full of dangers. No breathing, notice, higher power. And I know there's nowhere else to hide. I'm talking and singing here about love, God, Jesus, Buddha, everyone who knows more than I do, mentors, guides, higher angels. I'm on my own with my higher power. I'm totally powerless over people, places, and things. I'm totally powerless over Lauren who wants to go back on the internet now and find a wig that goes all, with all these colors that goes all the way down. This is what I'm going to do. <laughs> because this is what Lauren would do. There's always a solution, I would say. <laughs> I would take this one. <laughs> I won't wear it on top of this one, but I wonder if I could just add it on. There you go. Let's fix that one. Dad said there was a solution to everything except that. Now it's all the way down there. Look. Now it's really long. Do you see what I mean? Do you see what we do? And then the ego says, oh, but that one's short. I <laughs> can't win. But do you see what we do, guys? You see what the ego does? I love you. I'm going to leave it at that. When you want a friend, have a healthy boundary. Uh, most friends that I made through the lockdown are so amazing. We, we don't fall out because our aim is to save humanity. You cannot fall out. <laughs> other people you have different jobs to do and my job is to wake you up because I'm awake I'm wide awake and I love you all no one has abandoned me anymore if you what is abandonment abandonment to me is if they don't no, people just don't come back and so they've gone forever. I do not believe that anyone goes forever, except maybe one person all through my whole life who never came back because they didn't wake up. But when people are waking up and ascending, they cannot abandon those that they care about and love. <laughs> and if they don't love me, well, then I don't want them back anyway. Would you? I only want those that have enough in their hearts Enough love in their hearts. Will they love in your heart? Anyway, I don't want to sing today. We've got laughter therapy coming on at eight o'clock. Join us. Join the colors. You know, and it's also interesting. Let yourself feel. And why can't I just feel what it feels like to not have this extra length on me? Oh, this one's longer. I think it's longer, look. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> no, it's not. It's the same, look. It's the same. Hang on. I think it's longer, a bit longer. Oh, but it's nothing like the other one. Nah, I don't like that one. Let's go back. <laughs> All right, good. Yeah. I prefer this one. Look at the orange. <laughs> this is much cooler. Look. Guys, why don't you come over and have a wig party? Come on over. Tonight's nice when. Let's have a wig party. Let's have a wig. Well, it's all about hair, isn't it? Hair is all about freedom. Oh, God. That's the kind of life I want, jumping around, dancing, singing. Not so much the other stuff, you know. Ah, she, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but just aban abandonment of all the other stuff. So could you look at abandonment as I've abandoned all that other stuff? They haven't abandoned me. 
anyway. I love you lots. Come and have a wig party. I've got millions of them. <laughs> Someone said to me, how many have you got? I don't know. I collect them. Like when I was a child, I used to collect, um, what did I collect? Coins, pens, serviettes, um, those um, paper bunties that you could dress up, you know, from the comics. Um, I used to collect flowers, used to drain them and keep them. I used to collect, oh, what else did I collect? Girls, you know, I mean, boys collect trains. We do, we collect things. Why do we collect things as kids? Interesting. And then we swap them. We have cards, don't we? We swap them with our friends. That's another awakening. Love you lots. Why do we collect people? <laughs> I love you, bye.